Hey, Brandy Six Math Prodigy, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery. And yesterday we did a very complicated looking, um, what's it called? Speed question, all right? We did a speed question which looks a little complicated. But don't worry, we are all math prodigies, we can do this, it's very simple. If we take it slow and steady, and we will win the race. <laughs> okay, remember, line by line, the answer is mine. So let's take a look at yesterday's question. First of all, um, so this question was this, Mr. Lim and Mr. Tim started jogging and blah, 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 okay? The answers, for those of you who are waiting for it, the answers are, for part A, 15 kilometers per hour. For part B, Mr. Lim um, covered 20 kilometers in, at, by 10 a.m. Mr. Tim covered 20 kilometers by 9.20 a.m. Okay, so if you got it right, I know you are a super math prodigy. You deserve, you deserve a big high five. You are a math prodigy. No, you are a super math prodigy. <laughs> Good job. Now, the question, read the question line by line, okay? So let's apply last week's quote of the week. Line by line, the answer is mine. Mr. Lim and Mr. Tim started jogging a circular path. So let's draw a circle first off. Okay, he, they all were, were, were running a circular path that looks a bit like that. And the distance is actually, what, 30 kilometers, okay? What's happening to my marker? <laughs> okay, now, they started jogging in the opposite direction. So if Mr. Lim went left, Mr. Tim went right. So in this case, this is Mr. Lim. Let's put him as L. And then we have Mr. Tim, who went the other way. And which is this, okay. Now, Mr. Lim took three hours to complete the distance. Okay, which means that Mr. Lim took three hours to complete the distance. So that means we know that he took um, 30 kilometers. He took how many hours? Three hours. So let's put like that this way. It makes much more sense. And for Mr. Tim... He took the same time to complete, the same time. I mean, he took three hours to complete one and a half time the distance of Mr. Lim. In other words, he went one round and he went another half round. So what was the total distance that he covered? Actually, 30 plus half of 30, which is equal to 30 plus 15, which actually he covered 45 kilometers, right? 45 kilometers in the same time of three hours. So good job, Mr. Mr. Tim. So the question for part A is what was the speed? What was the speed of Mr. Tim? So very simple. You take a look here. 45 kilometers in three hours. To make it look like kilometers per hour, all you have to do is divide this by good job by three. So 45 divide by three. And then you will get 15. So you get 15 kilometers per hour. Very easy. Okay, the first part is easy. The second part is a bit more tricky. So now if both of them started jogging at 8 a.m. Okay, they started at 8 a.m. At what time did they cover 20 kilometers? So let's find out how fast Mr. Lim is, okay? In this case, Mr. Lim is actually 30 kilometers per 3 hours. So how far is his speed? You divide 30 by 3, you get, good job, 10 kilometers per hour is Mr. Lim's speed. So if they both are jogging at 8 a.m., uh, Mr. Lim, how long would he take to cover 20? Very easy. You just times 2. In other words, he would take 2 hours. So Mr. Lim, for Mr. Lim, it's very simple. Mr. Lim is 2 hours plus 8 a.m. and hence it's 10 a.m. Okay, so plus 10 plus 8 a.m., you will get 10 a.m. Easy? Good job. Now, the second one, for Mr. Tim, he is traveling at 15 kilometers per hour. Okay, now what do we do? All we have to do is take the distance, which is 20, divided by the speed. Remember the DST table? So, DST. We have the, we have the time, no, we have the distance and the speed. So, distance divided by speed. So 20 divided by 15, what do you get? So this one, if you make it into an improper fraction, you divide by 5 here, divide by 5 on top, you will get 4 over 3, or 1 and 1 third. So he will take 1 hour and 1 third of an hour. So what is a 1 third of an hour? Hmm, let's draw, for example, I have no more space, but let's say, let me just draw this in a very bold color so you can see. So this is, in 1 hour we have 60 minutes, correct? So if we were to break, break it down into three, oops, if you were to break it down into three parts, what do you get? You have 20, 40, 60. 60 divided by three is 20, 40, 60. So every 20 minutes, so you can break this down into something that looks a bit like this, I think. One, two, three, correct. So 20 minutes here, 20 minutes here, 20 minutes here. In other words, it took one hour and 20 minutes. So the answer will be 8 a.m. plus one hour, 20 minutes is what? Plus 1 hour, 20 minutes, you get 9.20. Oh, I'm really using every single inch of this space here. Sorry about that. So 9 hour, 20. 9.20 a.m. If you got that right, again, I'm going to give you a big high five. You 
our Superman Freud. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. So with that, okay, now that we've reached there, our next question, I'm not going to give you so difficult. Okay, let's take a little breather. Okay. The next question is this. A train traveling at 70 kilometers per hour can travel a distance in 8 hours. We don't know the distance, right? How long will it take for a car to travel cover the same distance but traveling 10 kilometers per hour faster than the train? All right, how long would it take Superman? Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so the, remember, to do this question, all you have to do is use the quote of the week which says that slow and steady wins the race. I know we're talking about speed here. I know how fast I'm speaking, but you know, you got to be slow and steady when you do math. <laughs> all right, so slow and steady wins the race. With that, this is Coach Seifel signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.